Using the right adhesive in Mosaic is everything. In today's video, we'll talk about one in particular. Think major hold, full cure in 24 hours, all by air drying? Did I mention it's clay? Let's get to it. Welcome back. And if you're new here, my name is Julie. And on this channel, we talk about tips, tricks, tools, adhesives, materials, and specific mosaic projects all to shorten your learning curve when it comes to creating mosaic art. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, please consider subscribing. So what exactly is epoxy sculpt? At its core, it's modeling clay. However, there's an added component that makes it work really well in mosaic. And that added component is an adhesive. So it's the perfect combination of clay plus the adhesive power of epoxy. So we can use it as an adhesive, but we can also make shapes with it. It's a two-part adhesive. So when you buy it, it comes with a part A and part B, which you must keep separate until you're ready to mix it up. And once it cures, it's rock solid. So having said that, you wanna make sure that you clean your hands and your tools after you've worked with epoxy sculpt. It'll stick to anything. It comes in 12 colors and lots of sizes to fit your budget and project. I would suggest if you're just starting out to buy the smallest size to see how you like it before you fully commit to a larger quantity. The good news is that it's a stable product and as long as you keep part A and part B separate, then you'll have your unused portions for a while. Just keep their lids on. It's waterproof and can be drilled, sanded, or painted, whether wet or dry. It's non-toxic, non-hazardous, and there's hardly any odor. It works well with inks, stains, and mica powders. It adheres to glass, stone, metal, wood, plastic, basically any clean surface. And get this, it even does your dirty dishes and laundry for you. Just making sure you're paying attention because this stuff is so good, you may have already like tuned me out like, please, there's nothing good like this. Come on. There is. Oh yes, there is. But seriously, wouldn't that be awesome? It's outdoor and marine quality. It's designed to be waterproof and permanent. It cleans up easily with soap and water or the AV safety solvent. This sounds like a perfect adhesive for mosaic, doesn't it? Minus the dirty dishes and laundry, of course. Sorry. So you might be thinking after hearing all of these great qualities, hey, that's great, Julie, but I'm not interested in creating shapes for my mosaic work. That's okay, you don't have to. This material does so much more than allow you to create shapes. If you're interested in making mosaic jewelry, then this material, this adhesive, is for you. I recently did a video here on the channel on how to make mosaic rings using epoxy sculpt, and I'll include a link down below in the description so you can check it out. In that video, the epoxy sculpt did an amazing job, not only in keeping my small pieces in place, in case I accidentally bumped one, but on one of the rings, I used really small pieces of stained glass up on their sides on one end, and the epoxy sculpt kept everything in place and dried rock solid. I also wanna add that in the mosaic rings video, I did show how I prepped the substrates in order to not get any of the epoxy sculpt on the outside of the rings, this is really important that you don't touch anything with your gloves or hands that have handled the epoxy sculpt. I wouldn't use epoxy sculpt on a large project. There are other tile adhesives out there that I would prefer to use more, such as thin set mortar, 
not only would it be easier to use in a larger quantity, but also much more cost effective. However, in addition to using epoxy sculpt in jewelry, which is such a small area to mosaic, it's also very handy when needing to level off a large mosaic, whether that's a flower pot or a sculpture. If I'm creating a mosaic that's going to go, let's say, on somebody's coffee table and it's a heavy structure that they're not going to want to move around a lot, I might put a little epoxy sculpt on the bottom, smooth it out because it smooths really nicely, even with just your, your fingertips, smooth it out nicely so that their coffee table doesn't get scratched should the structure or sculpture be moved accidentally. Because epoxy sculpt dries smooth, it can be painted and it cures to a rock solid finish. This is a material or an adhesive you want to have in your mosaic toolbox. Do we call it a material or an adhesive? I don't know. Let me show you how I mix it up. The first thing you need to do is wear disposable gloves. The manufacturer suggests nitrile gloves like these. As I mentioned earlier, Epoxy Sculpt is a two-part adhesive. So when you buy it, it comes with a part A and part B. You need to use separate utensils to scoop out the material. I used wood craft sticks and mark them part A and part B just to make sure I didn't cross contaminate. Whatever utensil you use to scoop out the material, remember that part A is only for part A and whatever utensil you use for part B is only for part B. This is uber important. So when you scoop out the material, you'll notice that part A is creamy and pretty easy to scoop out. Whereas part B is definitely harder or more tense to scoop out. You mix both together in equal parts. You don't have to measure it and get so exact. Just eyeball it and use your best judgment. Once you have scooped out part A and part B, you're ready to combine them. So now get ready to play with your clay and just keep combining and mixing the two parts with your fingers until the marbling is gone. You wanna keep kneading it and get rid of the marbling. I noticed about 30 seconds into combining the two parts that it heated up slightly, just enough for me to feel it through my gloves, but nowhere near so hot that it felt burning. Nothing like that. Once the epoxy sculpt is mixed, it has a smooth, putty-like consistency. The working window is one to three hours. However, the manufacturer says that it's at its strongest adhesive strength in the first 30 minutes. So once you've mixed up your epoxy sculpt, let it sit for five minutes before you use it. I put mine on top of the bottom of this disposable cup and just let it rest. So let's talk a minute about the working window for epoxy sculpt. If the working window feels like a challenge for you and your project, maybe the materials you're using, maybe you're unfamiliar with them, or they're just plain difficult. There are a couple workarounds to help you get through this working window so you don't have to worry about it. The first solution is to mix up smaller batches of epoxy sculpt. 
Yes, this will mean you'll probably have to mix up multiple batches in order to complete your project. However, practice makes perfect. And this will eliminate or you won't have to think about the limited working window so much. Now, if that doesn't sound appealing to you, I have another idea. Draw a template or pattern true to size on a piece of paper. Work with your tessera on the paper pattern and then once you're happy with your design, mix up your epoxy sculpt and start tiling on your final substrate. I'll include a list down in the description of everything I use in today's video in case you'd like to check it out. Question of the day, let me know down in the comments if you've ever used epoxy sculpt and if so, what did you make? I'd love to hear. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up as it really does help my channel and subscribe if you haven't already. Click the bell notification so you never miss a single upload and let me know in the comments if there's something you'd like me to cover in a future video. I'll see you soon. Bye. Okay, I think that was good. Okay. Focus. Let's do this. Let's do it. Let's get to it, right? Yeah. Okay. What am I trying to say here? I don't know. I messed up a lot more than I thought I was going to. I just got all tongue-tied. Wow, for being a short video, I really... Uh, Wow. All right. Okay. It's a short video and I can't get it together. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. You almost had it. You almost had it. No, I didn't like, I didn't like how I said that. Nope. I hesitated. Don't hesitate. Just say it. If you're looking for more mosaic inspiration, you can check out one of these two videos. Until then, see ya.